welcome to this abridged guide to acquiring therapeutic helmets. While there are tons of research papers focusing on helminthic therapy, there have only been a handful of clinical trials so far. We know it's safe and incredibly effective, thanks to decades of very detailed reports from self-treaters, but helmets are still a long way from being available in your local pharmacy. Unfortunately, pharmaceutical companies are more interested in isolating the immune system modulating molecules helmets secrete to develop into a drug than funding further research for the already highly efficient little biome factories nature gave us. Which means we're still a long way off from drug regulating bodies giving helmets their stamp of approval. That means that, unfortunately, doctors are not going to be able to prescribe them and will most likely be very careful not to even sound like they're encouraging you to try them. If you're lucky, you'll come across one of the wonderful MDs who does help their patients through the process, but for most of us, that's not in the cards. Most people who are sick now and people who want to proactively make sure that they don't get sick in the future also don't want to wait decades for the government to give them permission to optimize their health. So they make the decision to become self-treaters. As a self-treater, you buy your helmets from a helmet provider or you incubate them yourself. There are currently a handful of helmet providers and each specializes in one or two species. Sometimes you pay per dose. With some, you can get a discount by paying for multiple doses up front. Some of them don't ship to certain countries and some only accept payment in Bitcoin. For a lot of people, the idea of paying in Bitcoins is a bit daunting, but the provider they'd like to work with doesn't accept any other currency. That's why I've personally offered to accept bank and PayPal transfers and will convert to Bitcoin and buy helmets for you. But for those of you who just need a hand getting the hang of it, the next installment will be a helmet user's guide to Bitcoin. The information in this video can be found on the wiki pages helmet providers, and I also highly recommend checking out the helmet provider reviews to make sure you make the most informed decision possible. And I will see you guys in the next installment.